There's a rumor that when a car catches fire, the heat can cause the bumper's shock absorber pistons to explode, launching the bumper like a projectile. To test this myth, Adam decided to buy a few cars for experimentation. Since no one could predict exactly what would happen next, they secured a controlled demolition site for safety, with a fire truck on standby just in case. Janie doused the engine compartment and the interior with gasoline. Then, fully suited up, Adam lit the fire. The car was quickly engulfed in flames, and the fire spread rapidly. Temperatures soared to 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. But even as the vehicle burned down to its frame, the bumper never launched. The pistons connected to the bumper were still intact, though the bumper itself had melted away. Janie wasn't convinced it was that simple. After all, there have been real cases of people getting injured by flying bumpers. In fact, one of the victims was a female firefighter, now walking with a cane. While trying to extinguish a burning vehicle, she was struck in the legs by a flying bumper. Her shin bones shattered into about 20 pieces. That exact bumper was identified as the culprit. To get to the bottom of it, they needed to head back to the workshop and take a closer look at how bumper pistons really work. 